It's obviously great to have the, uh, the Colts here uh, in the city of Anderson and on the campus of Anderson University. Uh, being back on campus for the first time in, since I graduated in uh, 1978, uh, it's just been a real joy, uh, especially last night where we had a, nearly 7,500 fans come out to help celebrate the Colts being in Anderson and on the campus and just to see obviously the, the great team, uh, the leadership, had the chance to, to meet Jim Irsay last night and, and uh, Pete Ward and Larry Hall, just the, some of the leadership and just the great partnership between the Colts organization and the city and the university. It's just a terrific opportunity for all of us to showcase the city and the university. Uh, we're developing you know, what we think is uh, going to be you know, really mentally and physically tough football team, a pressure-proof uh, football team that can handle uh, any adversity, any circumstance that come our way. We know that the NFL season is, is a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint. So uh, it's, it's grueling, and so uh, we've got to prepare our team to, to handle anything that may come this way. And, and we've got to, you know, we've got the staff, the coaches do a great job, and we've got the players, you know, that are, that are the right man for the job. You know, the Colts is a, a really good organization, and the, the breakfast that we've had this morning really demonstrates that they like to be in Anderson, in the community, with the people. Uh, Students from Anderson High School football team um, being able to, to really talk with the coach, uh, just that interaction. And it's, it's almost like the, the, the breakfast that we've had this morning is like you're sitting in the coach's living room and having a conversation with him. They just, the Colts group is good on um, really being involved with people who really appreciate them as a team.